ऑल द करियर ऑप्शन यू कैन हैव आफ्टर योर बी टेक कंप्यूटर साइंस बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स फेस दिस प्रॉब्लम दैट वॉट आर द ऑप्शन वी हैव दीज काइंड ऑफ फिट्स कंसल्टिंग मैनेजमेंट और सेल्स यू कैन ऑप्ट फॉर दैट एज वेल अगेन यू हैव टू वर्क अकॉर्डिंगली इन दीज फील्ड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल ऑफ द ऑप्शन यू हैव आफ्टर योर बी टेक कंप्यूटर साइंस हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल गीक्स फॉर गीक्स गेट कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड डी ए सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल द करियर ऑप्शन यू कैन हैव आफ्टर योर बी टेक कंप्यूटर साइंस बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स फेस दिस प्रॉब्लम दैट वॉट दे आर गोइंग टू डू आफ्टर बी टेक आर दे गोइंग टू गेट अ जॉब और वॉट the uh, they have to give a gate so in this video we are going to discuss all of the options you have after your btech computer science so let's discuss them one by one so first question arises that what are the options we have right so let's see what are the career options we have as you can see here listed we have private jobs so you can go for any of the private jobs there are many private jobs in the market and then we have government jobs as well so you can apply for government jobs there would be an exam for that and all those things then you can go for government jobs there are psus up, like you have to understand that how you are going to get that government job how you are going to get that private job you should make a plan for that there is also psus which hire students after btech computer science and then you can opt for mtech ms you can do your mtech you can go for higher education either in technical or either in management right you can do mba as well because many students do mba and get a good package many students do mtech and get a good package what happens sometimes that if you are not able to get a package get a private job from your btech college right there might be a possibility that you are not from such a good college that you are getting a good companies there and you are not getting a good private job as you want and you do not want to opt government job so students opt for higher education right so students opt for higher education but for that you have to give an exam so we are going to discuss that as well now let's discuss about private jobs a uh, private jobs may be na we have so many specifications right so you can either go for technical jobs non technical jobs or in core department right what is your department right self so in technical we have product based and service based so you have to choose that in which company you want to work on and you have to prepare accordingly prepare according for the interviews prepare your resume according to that make your projects according to that so you would be uh, get into these companies right and they would give a really good package if your resume is strong if you would know the skills what company wants So, right so to get into a particular company because you know that like some of the students have some of the dream companies so what you can do you can just see that what uh, specification qualities they hire so you can just uh, learn these skills and add it into your resume and make projects based on that right so that would help you to get into these technical companies later on non technical consultant management sales if anybody has any interest in these kind of fields consulting management or sales you can opt for that as well again you have to work accordingly in these fields another one is core if you want to get in core you have to get uh, strength in your core subjects okay so now next we have is government jobs now in government jobs so there are many government jobs students do after gate exam after btech some of uh, them prepare for upsc ssc nic state pcs public sector bank executive engineering assistant engineering isro drdo and many more ab ye isro or drdo if you prepare for these kinds of exam so you can prepare with your main syllab main subject computer science right so it's up to you uh, what government job you have to prepare for so these nic is ro drdo if you are preparing for these like if you are preparing for executive engineering some of syllabus would overlap so you would go through the syllabus first if you start preparing and see that just go through that particular exam which covers most of the exam because government ex cracking the government exam is comparatively difficult right so that's why you should understand all the subject 
all the exam syllabus first and see that what syllabus you would prepare so that it would overlap most of the exams and you would be able to give it. If I leave this UPSC, SSC, State PCS, Public Sector Bank, these have completely different syllabus, but NIC, DRDO, ISRO, you would get a uh, common syllabus for that. Now, next is PSUs. So there are many PSUs which hires with the help of gate exam and also they also hires with the or without gate, right? According to the vacancy or uh, you how you are performing in an interview or they have their own exam. So we have Bharat Petroleum, a major oil and gas company in India. Indian Oil Corporation is Robark, HPCL, Bales, SAIL, NTPC, NIC. So all these PSUs hires with or without gate exam. So you have to check regularly the vacancies they have posted on their website or what are the, uh, what are the things required to get into these PSUs. Right. Now, next thing is masters. So if you want to go for masters, you can go for MS, MTech or ME, right? So the easiest, easiest, nahi bulenge, uh, the uh, like best way to get into masters into top colleges is gate exam. If you have to do with the computer science, uh, I'm not uh, talking about MBA, I am talking about in technical skill. MTech or MS, if you want to go, you can give a gate exam and you can try for top colleges, top IITs. From there, you can have uh, you can have experience of top IIT colleges and also later on you would get a good placement because uh, in top colleges, most of the companies are coming in, which is your dream company to work on. Right. So it would get easier for you to get into uh, good companies after getting in top colleges using gate exam. Right. So that's why we suggest students, uh, if you have time, you can prepare for gate exam. Now, if you want to do MBA, so you can go for IAM, FMS or S XLRI, XLRI, right, or ISB. Okay. So what you do, make sure. Abhi, like if you have only done BTEC, right, you are in third year or fourth year or you are just exploring the option, make sure that you would dream higher, right, you have a big goal. So if you are like, if you want to do an MBA, just go for an IIM. If you want to do an MTech, just go for uh, top IITs. If you want to go for a government job, just see that which government job aligns with your interest because government job uh, syllabus is comparatively like difficult to cover right so like i will not say ki go for upsc right it if you are dedicated enough to get into that exam and go through that syllabus if you are uh, if you think you are able to do that then do that but for mba and for mtech i'll say dream big just go for iit just go for uh, top iims right that would help you in your career because if you are in second third or fourth year you have enough time to prepare for any of that and uh, get a good college later on and after that two years because uh, these options like tier two or tier three colleges were looking out for the option so that they can have a good placement because sometimes what happens they would not get a really good placement from their college so they should have an option that what they are going to do further right now, uh, so guys, this is my introduction and uh, we have these test series, we have launched for gate test series, guys, if any one of you is preparing for gate exam, so we have launched our test series for DA as well as for CS, right, so you can just check out, you would get the link in the description, you can click on that this link and you would go through that. And also we have batch available for weekend batch available for CS and DA both okay and guys if like i told you about government exam and if you are preparing for isro and nic then we have also one batch available which would help you in preparation of that because uh, like one batch would help you both for isro and nic right and like isro form is already closed so we are waiting for nic so we will see to that Right, so this is our team and if you want to have any queries or anything, you can just uh, join our telegram group so that you would get to know and you can ask your queries and you can connect with your mentors.
ओके सो या दैट्स ऑल गाइज थैंक यू